And uh, and that's basically all the time I'll spend. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. My name's Adam, and this is the Weekly Ski and Outdoor News. Uh, we're looking for a name for this segment, so if... You have a name, you have an idea, slide in our DMs, drop it in the comments. Please let me know because I need some help. But anyway, this is where we talk about all the news that has happened in the last week or current or in the immediate future uh, in the ski space, in the outdoor space, in the cycling space, whatever. So uh, this week we have a few things that are of importance. First and foremost, Killington has started testing their snow guns. Uh, this is kind of my official start to the season. My official, like, I get the jitters and, like, the creepy crawlies all through my spine and the rest of my body. Uh, this is it, right? Like, this is this is when it happens. So they were just testing snow guns. They're not actually blowing snow, but some stuff is sticking to the top of Superstar. Um, you can see it on the Superstar cam if you zoom in or the North Ridge cam. Uh, so weather dependent, I would expect we see an opening sometime towards the end of October, early November at the latest temperature dependent. My guess, uh, is that it'll be last week of October, but that's, uh, that's a little bit of a bet right now. I actually would like to take wagers on when it actually is. So if you have a bet you want to make, let's make a bet. In addition to that, the more important of the two things, I think, uh, is the fact that signups for last year standing are, basically happening they are uh, by the time this comes out they will be ongoing on ski the uh last year standing if you are unfamiliar is probably my favorite event of the year uh it is it's very much a battle of resilience a battle of endurance and just mentally and physically exhausting to watch partake in whatever uh last year brody levin won uh, he came out did the laps Lasted 61 laps of uh, Black Mountain. That is, uh, that's a lot. It's about a thousand feet of climbing per lap. So that's 60 plus thousand feet of elevation throughout the three days that Brody was going on. Basically, the way it works is you skin up at the top of every hour and you ski down. You have to be at the start line at the top of the next hour. Otherwise, it does not count. You can come down at my, at minute 59. As long as you are ready to go at the top of the next hour, you're good, right? So the idea is like, it's not fastest lap. Fastest lap doesn't really matter. It's how long you can last, okay? A lot of the men out there probably have <laughs> are having an issue with that idea, right? But the important thing is making it for the longest period of time. I think year one was like 40 laps, right? Like 39 laps, something like that from, uh, from Oyster Rick. But last year was just ridiculous. The year before was ridiculous with Ben Eck going 56 laps this year, Ben and Brody, Brody did 61, Ben did 60. It's, it's insane. Um, so if you want, if you fancy yourself an endurance athlete and you ski or split board, do this. Come sign up for the event. Come hang out with us, the Ski the Whites crew, and everybody else. Uh, there's 150 slots in total. So get on it. Get your fitness going and partake. It is one of the most fun multiple-day events that exists, and it's just uh, it's a good time to be a part of. Even if you just come by and crew, you come by and hang out, whatever. Do it. Okay? Uh, that's it for this week's news. Super simple, clean cut. We'll see you next week with uh, with some good stuff, hopefully.